Hello everyone, Fez here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best ways to get your gold camo on your SMG so that you can start grinding for your atomic. You know, you know the vibes. Yeah, that's what this video is going to help you out with all of that. Best tips, tricks, everything for gold camo on SMGs. Please be sure to leave a like, subscribe in the description. I got my TikTok, Discord server, and Twitch. Go follow them. And yeah, hopefully this video helps you a lot and enjoy. So there's 10, 10 camel types, challenges, things in most guns in this game except the launchers and the shield and the knife. So basically there's 10 here and you have to level up your gun to unlock all these challenges. So first you want to get your guns to max level. So while you're leveling up these guns, the first challenge you will get unlocked, which you'll automatically have unlocked, is just getting 400 elims. This one's very simple. Don't even worry about this one because it will happen, right? You just want... You just want to play the game, get kills, you know, play normally. While you're working on your other challenges, this will happen. So don't even, like, think about this one. This one is nothing to worry about. The next one is 100 headshots. Now, if you don't aim for the head, maybe this will be hard for you. But for me, normally, for most people, I don't think this would be a very hard challenge. Maybe you could equip that. There's some barrels in this game that make your headshot damage more. If you're struggling with headshots, maybe you equip that. There's even some... Uh, proficiencies and stuff I think that make it so that your headshot multi uh, your headshot range is higher so you might want to do that as then you'll be able to get more headshots easier and yeah next category we have is getting 50 multi kills now with the new playlist that's out right now which is dust house which is basically the shoe house in this game you will be able to get so many multi kills you want to just keep going for multi kills on that you'll get so many so fast it's worth it multi kills is nothing to be worrying about it's very simple nothing nothing too hard you know just double kills and stuff it'll come easily if you can't really do it just going hardcore but i don't think it should be any problem to be honest it'll be really easy next we have five kills without dying 30 times now i can see where people would struggle with this one a lot because there's five kill streaks without dying 30 times but the thing is I've noticed that 5 kill streaks just happen so fast in this game. I thought this challenge was going to be hard, but turns out it was just so easy. It just happened on its own. So if you really can't do it, just try to camp, play really tactical for these challenges. Because it's not that hard. So yeah. The next one we have is long shots. Or long range kills, but they're long shots. Now this one, I want to say something about it. Because long shots, 100 long shots, you know, you can just, first of all, on Dust House, the map Dust House, you can just sit at the back and just get pick off some people from long shots in the middle lane. It's just like Shoe House, there's a middle lane and you can just kill people from there. And there's also a side lane where you can just aim and kill people from there. That's free long shots. You can go in hardcore as well on different maps, various maps, bigger maps. You can get kills like that. There's many different ways, but other than getting the long shots, right here there's a camel challenge on on survivalists now this is for the mp40 for the other smgs the other two i've looked at till now have not had this challenge but i feel like it's possible for other guns to have this challenge so keep this in mind that this one says to get 100 long shots with specific attachments that it's stated in that like in the challenge like description right there so i i would say to not get the long shots instantly but wait for the these categories to be unlocked or the survivalist at least cam at least wait for the survivalist category to be unlocked so that you can see whether you want to get long shots because would you rather get 200 long shots or would you rather get 100 at once so you get both those challenges done at the same time it's so much it's so much smarter so yeah that's why what i did was i waited for the survivalist till i unlocked it but the thing was for these survivalists the some of the attachments may not be unlocked instantly so you're gonna have to unlock the attachments too it's kind of annoying i think they're gonna change it eventually but for now this is how it is so yeah the next challenge is berserker which is get 100 close range kills they actually changed this one it used to be point blank kills but i'm ba i'm guessing it's the same thing it's because when you get a point blank kill it literally says point blank so i think they made it a little easier though because close range kills are a little further than point blank kills i think so basically just being really close to the enemy and killing them which will happen a lot in dust house again dust house is like 
so good and when shipment comes out oh my god these challenges will be so much easier on shipment so yeah next challenge we have is hip fire kill this one won't be hard at all as you're in dust house again you can just hip fire this it's just put on the hip fire attachments and you just hip fire for days you'll get ev all the challenges so easy the mind games category it says get 100 kills without taking damage that's for the mp40 but it could always be different but these these ones are relatively easy in my opinion right here it's gonna be get 100 kills while moving really easy for the owen which is the next smg let's check because i have it leveled up it's get 180 s kills with specific attachments uh, mostly specific attachments for these ones it's really easy there's nothing to worry about really and yeah these this these two challenges survivalist and mind games they're normally going to be really easy unless it's the long shot one for the mp40 which is kind of annoying but yeah the last one is death artist which is says to get 100 headshots i'm pretty sure this is the same throughout all the guns 100 headshots with specific attachments seems kind of annoying but headshots again aren't super hard in this game in my opinion but if you're struggling obviously I mean, you could try to use the headshot attachments, but the attachments they normally give or for those challenges are kind of like meant for this challenge. That's what I've noticed. So, you know, just, I don't think it should be very hard to get these headshots. So yeah, getting gold in this game overall is actually not that hard. It's just a lot of time into it because every gun goes up that level of 70. So it's actually like lots of wasting of time. I'd say just leveling up the gun and if only the challenges would be unlocked instantly for you to work on them but that's not how it is so yeah so thank you for watching please be sure to leave a like if this helped you out i've been using all these tips and tricks to get my golds i currently have three i'm gonna make a video about it later stay tuned go follow my twitch tiktok and join my discord server if you want and yeah